Okay, time for a regular check-in now with our parent <laughs> expert, Gail Bell. This time we're looking at setting ourselves up for success, for a smooth, enjoyable, meltdown-free two weeks <laughs> off of school. Oh, I like it. Yeah, because like the public kids are off tomorrow, and then the Catholic kids next, next week, week, so it, it's coming, right? And it's a it's long coming. period. It's also a super hectic period. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think is the, the first thing we should be doing? Well, we want... we don't want to have a plan, so to speak, right? Everybody wants to chill, but sure. when you let things in a family go that loose, everyone's perception could and usually is quite different. So I brought you the tool to use. The this tool. This is the biggest gift ever <laughs> for families. Okay. All right? A so, paper calendar on a wall. Oh, so you need to take the time, and it's short, and say, guys, sure. let's do this, because parents spend so much time with teenagers saying, it's 11 o'clock. Get out of bed. Yeah, and yeah. then it's 11 p.m. Get to bed. Yeah, right. And then with the younger ones, it's, I can't believe you have the TV on. It's only 7 in the morning. And yeah. there's a lot of things going on. And then another one could be where your partner comes home and they say, why are you in your pajamas? Hurry up. Put a collared shirt on. We've got a party to go to oh, in 10 yeah, minutes. Right. So we just try to flip it. Like, how would you okay. feel if you're... You if know. I was surprised, I would if hate it. And I would do, hate it. We yeah. do it to kids all the time because we know the agenda, but we haven't necessarily shared it with them or the expectations around the holidays. And you know me, Ted. Yeah. Kids are awesome if you tell them. If you tell them. So on the calendar, we put events and anything else? Yeah. Well, everybody, This so this is the Bells sure. December calendar. Sure, sure. And it's... You know, we don't necessarily, we have some times down on here, and we don't necessarily have everything, but, you know, on Sunday we did go through, okay, the holidays are coming up. Mm -hmm. I have teenagers, you guys, 10 o'clock. That's right. And they were like, Mom, and I'm like, okay, I will wait, you know, 10 o'clock is my limit, bed's made, downstairs eating breakfast by 10.30, yeah. and then the, the other night's almost more important. And then, yeah, we're going out, so it's family's games night on, on the 22nd that we do with other sure. families. There's no phones that night. Okay. Do not even think about it. Oh, you even mentioned the mobile device thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying if you lay it out up front and you tell your, your sons or daughters or whomever mm -hmm. uh, that this is what we're happening on these mm -hmm. days, then, of course, they're kind of prepared for it. No surprises. What about... Um, time to chill in your pajamas and stuff right, like that. Right, right. So, you know, again, go through that. So, we've got a few things going on, but we don't have a lot of things going on. But mm -hmm. the, on the 19th, I wrote free. Like, that is totally free That day. day is wide open. It's wide open. We have nothing Hang on the Hang with your buddies or yeah, do nothing day. Exactly. Okay, that's cool. You know, and just go through it. And, and kids are great. And there's lots of treats. And when you talk to kids, yeah. share your expectations in a calm way, not in the moment, yeah. they are way better about taking self-control. And that's what discipline's about. We want them to move to self-discipline. Sure. So just think about you know, what you're doing when. And obviously, in our generation, screen time is huge. Mm -hmm. And we hear from parents all the time, well, they're, they're so obnoxious or so rude after two hours of TV. We'll monitor that a little yeah. bit. It's not that they can't have it, Ted. Yeah. It's when sure. and how much. And what your expectations and are. And what your expectations are. You can watch a show are. or two, but after that, you know what, guys, it's time to move on to mm -hmm. something else, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Versus Fair that. enough. I can't believe you're doing that. Yeah. It's better to be proactive than reactive. It, it is really that is. And, and kids want to know. And yeah. if you tell them, you know, we're going to grandma's house for brunch and you need a collared shirt on and you tell them before. Yeah. You know what? They'll be showered and they'll be showered. They'll walk downstairs with if you, there you go. if they come down in a T-shirt and you yell at them in the moment. It's not fun. Not good. Um, so this is great for teenagers. What about my two year old? Oh, he doesn't know. listen to anything I say. I bet he's perfect. Oh, he's actually pretty cute. Yeah, yeah he is. You know, so <laughs> with two-year-old, that's a great question. Yeah. It's a parent's responsibility to keep the routine Manage as it. consistent as possible. Sleep is the biggest. Super important. Super important. Keep the nap routine rolling. Yes. Oh, man. Yes, and it doesn't last forever, does it? They grow it's up true. so quick. So quick. Thank yes. you, Gail. Great advice. Great advice.